Believe it or not, winter is here, so you know what time it is. Top 10 winter fragrances niche list. Let's roll my motherfucking music, cause these pah, bangers. Well, good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, c 3 u 3 3 a Cubano, a.k.a. Unabomber. I got 10 niche fragrances that are top 10 winter bangers that I'm going to be squirting everywhere, all over me. My presence is going to be known this year. I'm going to be out and about spraying myself all over your face. These are in no particular order, but I have a very nice eclectic list of bangers that are cold weather appropriate with variety and sex appeal. The first fragrance that I selected is worn by every maid member of every mafia syndicate in the tri-state area, and that's a fact. Google it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by Zerzhov the Don. When I looked up the fragrance, the Don, because this was a complete blind buy, the notes automatically stuck out to me because they scream Cuba. Gunpowder, I'm a gun enthusiast and have a hell of an arsenal and do damage. Two, whiskey. We all know I'm six or seven steps away from being a full-blown alcoholic, so whiskey is number one on my list, and then tobacco. Every now and then I like to indulge in a beautiful cigar. It doesn't necessarily have to be Cuban. I don't discriminate against Nicaraguense or Dominican rappers. I smoke what I smoke and I like. When you put that combination of notes into a bottle, you think I'm not buying it and hoping it smells good? Well, it doesn't smell good. It smells spectacular. Cold weather only should be worn. It's mineral, it's boozy, it's a little nutty actually. It's got the tobacco leaf running. It's got a slight smoke vibe, but it's more of a mineral, dense, dark, sexy fragrance with tobacco essences and a little bit of sweet amber, but really sweet on the complete dry down. The Don will make you look like you're going crazy walking up and down the street in a robe and slippers talking to yourself. If you like mom movies, you know what I'm talking about. Next one. We can't leave out our rose-based fragrances, and this one was a beautiful surprise by the House of Zaharoff, and this is their signature rose. This fragrance is rose, rose, and rose with another dash of rose sprinkled in with some rose. This is definitely not your traditional rose oud combination. This one has a lot more freshness. It's got a little bit of a spice vibe. Sweet, vanillic, and I believe ambery nuances in this. But on skin, it smells fucking spectacular. I mean, this is definitely on some entry-level rolls, but not entry-level fragrance. I feel this is a stepping stone into getting into rolls and not being smacked in the face with a Medicare card. This is a very, very pretty rose. I think it's stellar for the cold weather. And trust me, once it starts doing what it does on your skin, it smells spectacular. Signature rolls, fire. Next one. If you watch my channel, it's no secret that one of the fragrances that's never been on my list is Amouage Interlude Man. And the reason being is that I don't like that fragrance. I don't like the fragrance on me. And I've said this countless times and you guys have heard this a hundred times if you watch my channel. That fragrance on my skin is shit. On everybody else, smells great. On me, it's fucking disgusting. Until they came out with Amouage Interlude Black Iris. It could be just something so simple as the irisy powdery note that's in here, but it does a lot better on my skin, a lot more wearable, a lot more enjoyable than the old blue beast, as people call it. You still have the Interlude Man DNA, but for me here, it's a lot more wearable, a lot more fun, but it still retains that fucking ridiculous power that you're going to need in the winter to just keep you warm and cuddly. This fragrance is gonna be taken by the cold air and smacking all the titties that you want in the face, like, yo, who is that? That's the reaction that you're gonna want. This is a powerhouse. This is for external situations only. Don't be in a confined space wearing this fragrance because you will get accused of choking people out and if people start coughing, they're gonna say you're a corona spreader. This is a animal, animal of a fragrance, but phenomenal for the winter. This has been really fun to wear. I can't wait to wear it again. Next one. This next fragrance, Ah, <sighs> Amouage material. A fragrance catered to women, I 
could guess, because this is the Amouage female bottle, this is amazing. I repeat, amazing. Fire, just get it, just get it. I promise you, the creamy deliciousness that you spray out of this bottle will be the same creamy deliciousness you will pearl necklace her with. Just get it, next one. This one is one of the newest fragrances that I got in my collection, and I think this is going to be a fucking banger. The price is still a little wild, but the fragrance itself, what it's been doing, even Ja fell in love with this fragrance, and I've worn it already a couple more times since the initial review, and I'm liking it every time more and more that I wear it. Alectimus Mercurial Cashmere. The more and more I've worn this fragrance, the more enjoyable it is. It starts off with that blast of iris, then you're getting into some tanka, then we get slowly moving into some cashmere kind of vibes, dilly-dallying into some cardamom, shaking our tits with some pepper, and you have a beautifully sexy fragrance that does a lot better after multiple wears, and I feel like it's just registering on your skin and figuring out what it wants to do. I also found that depending on this weather that we've been having because of climate change, on the warmer days, it does something different. On the colder days off of my skin, it's been doing wildly good. And the sillage of this fragrance in the cold air, fire, it just smells so exclusive but it's expensive, so just gotta be careful because this is definitely heavy duty glass that you're paying for, but the fragrance is stellar. Next one. This one was a tough one for me to put on this list, and the reason being is I don't feel that it's going to be a mass appealing fragrance for everybody because not everybody likes cannabis notes, but fragrance Dubois Cannabis Blue just does it well. Lemony, it's got a little bit of a eucalyptus vibe. You definitely got that marijuana type flow, but it's also got peppery gingeriness. And really, it's something you have to smell to really understand and appreciate. This is ill. It's ill, I promise you. You're not gonna smell like a 10 bag of haraka. You're gonna be smelling fucking dope. This is a banger for the cold weather. I'm telling you, the citric nuances here and that steam room eucalyptus vibe when you're sitting with a bunch of dudes with towels that are mad hairy, it's gonna be dope. I'm telling you, this is gonna be a banger. People need to start understanding that cannabis note fragrances are sick and in the cold weather is where they shine extra. This one is a little bit more versatile, but trust me, in the cold weather, it is fire. Test it bare minimum. Next one. Dixon. Did I just say dicks? This next one is by the House of Frappin' that does booze, and Cuba likes booze, and this one is called 1270. Now this Frappin' 1270 is a lit. You absolutely get the booze out of this fragrance, so much so that you might want to sip it a little bit. It's sweet, it's on the gourmandish space, but it's also very boozy, but very naturally boozy. It's got the best kind of liquor booze on it, that if you overspray, you might get pulled over for a DUI. I'm just putting it out there. Now it's got notes like tonka, coffee, raisins. Nobody likes raisins and pastelitos, just putting it out there. Booze, vanilla, pepper, honey. It's just a sick concoction. It smells like a fragrance that's been aging in a booze barrel. That's really what it smells like and it's, it's stellar. This is cold weather appropriate, just look at the color. This golden ambery hue over here is, whew, Next one. I'm telling you, I've been sleeping on this fragrance and I've been wearing this fragrance and I like, I like a lot. It's by the house of BDK and this one's Gris Charnel. This fragrance I knew was gonna eventually suck me in. Pause. It's fig and tea. Love tea fragrances, love a fig fragrance. Then you throw mild vetiver, cardamom, and you get that little bit of a sweetness vibe, but this is all fig and tea with some leathery nuances to my nose. So fig, tea, leathery vibes that I get from this fragrance, and you have a fucking stupid, this is, this is recalculous. I might just, I just like, I mean, <laughs> yo, next one. Before I get to the next fragrance, I wanna read you the notes first, just so you can start letting it register in your brain piece. Cardamom, apple, lavender, white pepper, cedar, orris, amber, woody notes, patchouli. This fragrance is really amber, spicy, sweet, earthy, 
sexy as fuck by the house of ajmal this one is amber wood i've talked about this fragrance before i'm keeping my same energy that woody note is also a little bit of a chill oody vibe which isn't an od oud it's definitely more of a dank or wet kind of oud that isn't offensive amber sexiness at an affordable price for a niche brand. This isn't going to break your pockets, but it will help you break that hype. You know what I mean, next one. And last and certainly not least, if you're a Cubano follower, this has to be in the fragrance list. No, it's not Tuxedo. Tuxedo is not in this list. I don't wanna keep throwing Tuxedo in every list because everybody knows and already expects it, but they also get shocked in the comments like, oh my God, no Tuxedo, what's going on, Cuba? But. It's gotta be in the list, cause you already know who loves this one. Serge Lutens Chergi. Whenever it's the season that Cuba wants to do extra ladling, I mean spooning, I must pull out Chergi. Chergi just does magical things to my wife. It is stellar. But I also think it's what it does off of my skin. Or I would hope it's what it does off of my skin, cause if she smells somebody else with fucking Chergi, we got a problem. I digress. Cherky, phenomenal fragrance. One I feel everybody should have in their arsenal. I feel that this little haystack bomb might not be everybody's cup of tea and those are statements that I've made in the past, but now people who have gotten on this train have seen that, yeah, she's right. This is a fucking winter banger. We done. I hope you guys appreciate this amazing top 10 winter list of fragrances that I'm going to be squirting all over myself and all over everybody else around me. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know which one of these fragrances you agree is a banger and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? Biggest in the game. Unabomber. Smooches. Who's best? Who's best? One of those gonna pass the test. Who buy that? For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller, roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk on my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>